New Orleans has a rich culinary history, but it also played a big part in the evolution of the cocktail. In today's special, Chef Kevin Belton gives us the history of one of the first cocktails and explains how it may have changed the way the entire world drinks alcohol. You know, Nick, everyone knows New Orleans for our fine cuisine and our fine music, but people forget about our fine cocktails and the love of cocktails. Absolutely. Well, I think that New Orleans is a, a place, maybe not the progenitor of fine cocktails or cocktails, but definitely the ones that made cocktails elegant and grand and uh, the spectacle that they were in the 19th century. Now, for someone who, their first time here to your establishment, what should they order? Oh, the Brandy Crusta. So the Brandy Crusta is our legacy drink here. Um, you know, one of the reasons that we picked the name Jewel of the South is because we wanted to open up a place that's an homage to Joseph Santini, who was one of, uh, in my opinion, the most influential people of the 19th century in New Orleans dining. Um, and one of his biggest uh, attributions to the world of cocktails was the Brandy Crusta. Uh, Brandy Crusta being, it was the first uh, drink that had citrus squeezed in it to order. So it gave birth to sidecars, gimlets, everything that you have that has fresh citrus in it. Here we, uh, we use the Remy 1738 for our cognac. We have some fresh squeezed lemon juice, a half an ounce of the Pierre Ferrand dry curacao. Pop our tin together. <laughs> and there you have it, the Brandy Crusta. For when you want your day to be special, or night, you have to come here to Jewel of the South to elevate your palate, beverage, and food. Five with this news, I'm Chef Kevin Belton, and today is really special. Gotta love a man, Chef. Coming up.